Lindsay with Pixel Up Pinups Photography Studio and today we are going to be doing a smoky sexy eye for a cosplay or for going a night on the town, whatever you want to do. We're going to be doing smudgy, really like smoked out eyes to really happen with a winged cat eye look to it because anything with a cat eye is going to look sexier and more, you know, very sexy. So, And then we're going to do a neutral lip because if you have dark eyes you usually want to go with a neutral lip unless you're being really vampy and just generally just making the skin glow and look sexy. And today we'll be using Kat again for our model and she will be our sexy smoked out eye model today. Okay, so we're gonna start by doing the foundation. I use a foundation brush which is the MAC 190 brush but you can use your fingers or a sponge or anything that you're most comfortable with. We're gonna be using NC15 in the Studio Sculpt Foundation. It's a really high coverage foundation so if you want something more sheer I would recommend using something different. But this is gonna be, this is cosplay and you know, photography and makeup so we want something a little bit more thick and covering. So keep that in mind. For photography, you want something heavy. For natural, normal light, you want something a little bit more sheer. So let's get started. Next, we're going to be using some concealer. She doesn't need a lot. We just, I usually go in with just a little bit of a brush and just get, this is a thicker concealer. Again, this is the Studio Sculpt Concealer. This has actually been discontinued, sadly, so I'm not sure what the equivalent of it would be. I love this stuff, so I'm very sad it was discontinued. And just go in under the eyes. Next, we'll be using an eye primer to neutralize the color in her eyes and also to make a nice base for the, um, for the eyeshadow. This is BH Cosmetics Lip and Eye Primer. Now she's neutralized in all nice uniform color. Next we're going to use powder. I always prefer a um, high definition powder. This one in particular is Max Prep and Prime powder and it's, it looks white but it's really a neutral color. You can use it for anyone except for the very darkest skin. And I love this because it makes the skin soft and smooth looking and it works as kind of a primer and a powder in one. The Prep and Prime powder also comes in a pressed powder form so if you're um, cosplayer on the go and you want to have a powder to keep with you on your little pack, you know, at, on the go. It's a great little compact. Okay, we're going to start with a nice neutral brown. This is, let's see, Satin Taupe by MAC. I like it because it's iridescent. I kind of like with the sexier looks. I kind of like using the shimmery colors because I just think it's sexier. And uh, we're going to use a little bit of that first to start with. We are going to be using a MAC 242 and I'm going to use that to get right in the crease and make a little kind of line, cre you know, cat shape of sorts. You want to get right in that crease and along the lash line and kind of create a little V. And then just kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay. I just did a little bit of excess powder underneath the eyes so it's going to catch anything that falls. So when we do the dark color, it's going to catch that dark color. So. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to blend that out and kind of make it softer. We want to use Patina by MAC. It's a nice golden, um, soft, medium kind of brown. It's really pretty color. Let's just go out with the Patina all over the lid and blend it out that, that little V that you did, you want to blend it out now. Just blend those edges. We don't want a super sharp line. We just want to have a nice, nice dark base. And that's going to be your base for your liner and for the darker shade. Okay. Okay, and then so we're going to do some highlights. We're going to use our trusty nylon. I love this color by MAC. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a little bit of reflecting corners and a little bit of highlight on the brow. Okay, and just put the nylon right in the corners and right on the brow bone. Next, we're gonna go in with a black liner. I'm using Engraved by MAC. It's the PowerPoint eye pencil. It's a great waterproof eyeliner. And you're gonna get you're gonna do the bottom waterline and the, the top waterline. really close to that lash line, especially for someone like her who has such fair lashes. You don't want to have any skin showing in between the lash line and the eyeliner line. Okay? And then the lower water line, and you just get that lower edge. Kind of pull down your eyelid a little bit, your eye rather, not your eyelid, and then just get that lower top of it. 
we're just doing the water lines right now. Okay, please. Now we're gonna go back over that and do like a thick black line on top. Um, I changed my mind and I actually wanna do a little bit of a cat eye. So I'm gonna go back in with my Maybelline Line Stiletto and just do the outer cat eye just a little bit. To do a cat eye, do kind of a triangle. So go on the outer corner. Here, actually, I'll turn this so you can see better. You do an outer little swoop. You have it go probably totally in the way of the camera. And then make kind of a little triangle. And then make it neat. I'm gonna soften that. That's gonna be smudged out, but I just wanted to have a basic shape of the cat eye to start with. That's not the finished product. You're gonna take your 242 again, and you're gonna smudge that up. I would get a uh, Probably, we'll probably use our satin taupe again. Go over that, a little bit of that satin taupe. Now I've decided I think I want to make it a little darker, so I'm gonna go back in with a little darker color and do a little bit deeper right in these little corners too. I'm gonna to get some Carbon by MAC, which is black, and just place it right there. Just kind of get it right in there. That little V, you don't want it to extend out further than a little kind of small V. Okay, now we're gonna do under the eye. This is the BH Cosmetics Neutral Palette. I'm gonna be using this really dark, chocolatey, kind of almost, it's almost like a you know, light black almost color. It's really dark. It's got a little bit of iridescence to it on the underneath of the eye. Okay. And then just go under the eye and you wanna kind of smudge out that liner we did. Because you don't want a sharp, super sharp one. It's real easy to, un to overdo the under eye. So just go real precise, as precise as you can with the under line. That's why I like this, um, the, the 242 so much, just because it's, you know, flat. If you need to blend it out a little bit, that's fine. You just want everything to be soft. Okay, next we're gonna do brows. We want a short angled, like kind of angled brush that's nice and crisp like this. This is a BH Cosmetics brush, but you can, they have a MAC one like it, and they have lots of them. You can get them pretty much anywhere. We're gonna use Corduroy by MAC. It's a reddish brown for her eyebrows. So we'll just get a little bit of that, and let's do her eyebrows, okay? With the uh, sexy looks, usually an arched brow is a little more typical sexy, so we're gonna try to get a little bit of an arch with this. Again, always pluck your eyebrows and make them clean. Even if you don't have a lot, a lot of eyebrow, just have those, you don't want any stray hairs in here and going all in the middle of your forehead and all that stuff. So you wanna try to keep your eyebrows as clean as possible looking. And even if like, for example, she doesn't have an, a specific arch in her brow, you can kind of fake it. You just kind of take the shadow, put it to a point, and then go up with the point to the point, then down with the point like that. So up this way to that point, and then down. And kind of create the point. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to look, you know, like Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty or anything, but you just want that nice little kind of point to it. Okay, and then again, after you do your shape, basic shape of your eyebrows, you take a mascara wand like this. You can use something that you can buy that's already, that's reusable like this, or you can use a disposable mascara wand like this that you can get at CVS or any drugstore. And then just go in and you brush through it, brush and brush strokes. This makes it look like it has natural fiber hairs and makes it look less penciled in and fake. And make sure you always keep it clean. If there's any smudging or redness, just clean it up with that concealer brush or a little bit of concealer or whatever you want to use. You just want to have a nice sharp line. We're going to now brush off that excess powder, so close your eyes. So we're going to be using fake eyelashes. These are, um, actually I got these on, in, through a Hong Kong like wholesale sale. There's nothing, you can't really buy these specific ones, but just something that's like this. We want a nice sexy, um, lashes, anything like this or like this would work. Yeah, either ones. Oh, I like these because they're a little bit longer and we really want to have that. With cosplay especially, you really want to have long, vampy eyelashes to really show up in picture. Okay, and again, you always want to remember to measure your eyelashes so they're not too long. So just kind of hold them up against your eye and see. She just needs a little bit of trimming, so I'm just going to clip a little bit on the very edge like that. So, and then hold them up again, make sure. 
and then they're ready to put the glue on. And with eyelashes, you always want to have a nice, thin, uniform line of glue. This is the Duo Dark Glue. It dries black. I like it, but the white one is also just as good. And just do a uniform, nice, you don't have big globs, no big globs. Nice uniform line and just okay. And like always, you want to wait till your eyelash glue gets really tacky before you put it on. Do not put it on immediately after applying the eyelash glue or it'll slide right off. So we're gonna give it a minute and kind of wait till this gets a little tacky to put it on. <laughs> okay, lashes time. So close the eyes or have them open but point them down, whichever you prefer. And just pull these from right. You want to you want to line up the outer corner with the outer edge of her eyelash, or your eyelash rather. So do it to yourself. Do it as close to that lash line as you possibly can, and then do the inner corner. And then take the back of your tweezers and kind of tap it in place. I always use tweezers to put on eyelashes. I think it has more control. I just prefer it a lot than my fingers. I but that's up to you. Whatever you prefer works fine. I think I have a little glue there. If you get a little glue on the outer corner, just take a little Q-tip or something and just dab it. It does happen. Okay, other eyelash, same thing. Line up with the outer corner first and then kind of place, tap down the inner corner. Eyelashes are definitely something that as a practice makes perfect thing. You just gotta do it. And a lot of people say they can't put on thick eyelashes. You just gotta practice, practice, practice. They really make a huge difference. I would recommend, I would never do a single costume, I would never be in a cosplay without fake eyelashes because they make such a difference for photos. They really, your eyes look, look washed out. Even if you have naturally long eyelashes, they just, it's not the same thing when you see them with fake eyelashes for pictures. Next we use mascara. I personally like using mascara after I put my fake eyelashes on because it seals in the fake eyelashes with your natural eyelash. However, it's not required. You can put on mascara before you put your eyelash on. It's just what you prefer. If you want to have something like you want to keep your eyelashes and use them over and over and over and over again, then I would recommend using the eye mascara before you put the lashes on. However, I'm not really worried about that and I think it looks better to have the mascara on and then just put that mascara on to seal the lashes and just like you would normally put on mascara. She has very fair eyelashes, so you would you really, if you have fair eyelashes, you just gotta really make sure you coat those eyelashes really good. So then you don't have a disconnect of your eyelash between your fake eyelashes and your real eyelashes. You gotta make sure they look like they're all one thing. Make sure you get the bottom eyelashes real good. They're just as important as the top. You don't want to look washed out, so you need to have those bottom lashes well done. But you don't want them to be clumpy, so make sure they're not clumpy, they're sure they're individual. Now that we've smudged it out, I realize that I think we've lost a lot of that cat eye. So I'm actually going to go back in and go over it with some liner and do that cat eye kind of a little bit stronger. The cat eye really is what makes it so sexy. It really makes the eyes almondy and just looks really pretty. Next we're going to be doing blush. And we're gonna, usually with the sexier looks, you want to do a peachier color, not pinkier. Pinkier is more cute. Peachier is a little sexier. So we're going to use this peach color, which is Pinch Me by MAC. So, okay. With the sexier looks, you want to do the, you want to go along the cheek line and the cheekbone kind of thing and do more of a C kind of, almost E shape like this. So go ahead. And she's really pale. She's I'm not going to fail it, fade out some of that lush. It's not like the cutesy look. We want it just to be real gradual. Just kind of going a little bit along her hairline. I'm sorry, I'm getting your hair everywhere. And then a little bit around the jawline. And then blend it. Getting her little hairs everywhere, cat. I apologize. It's okay. <laughs> and that's a little too strong for her, so I'm going to buff that up. And go real light in these areas. We're just doing enough to kind of contour. It's nothing, you don't want to look like you're blushing up there. Next, we're gonna, after we do the blush, we're gonna go over it with a mineralized skin finish. This is in Soft and Gentle by MAC. Take your blush brush, and just get a little bit on there, and just go on the high cheekbone. This makes the skin all glowy. Okay, so on both cheekbones. Then take a little bit on your finger, and put a little on the bow of the lip. Okay, and then we're just giving a little bit of lip balm on the lips. 
Um, I like Mac's Prep and Prime lip balm. It's um the prep, just Prep and Prime lip, but you can use anything. You can use chapstick or anything like that that you have. So I just happen to like this product because it's kind of smoothing lip product a little better. Okay, so just put a little bit on the lips. Next, we're gonna line the lips. Uh, this is Boldly Bare by Mac. Line the whole lip. For the sexy look, you just want to have your natural lip. Maybe you can go a little bit outside the line, but don't go. We don't want crazy outside the line. Anything like, you know, I'm not personally a fan of that. Next, we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna use a nice neutral color. I don't know what it is because this is in a pill. I put all my lipsticks in pill cases, and I just make save room, and I don't know what it is. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill in the line that we just made in the lip. And this color is a little more neutral than the, than the doll eye look that we did. This is gonna photograph as almost nothing. It's gonna look like a totally natural lip when you actually photograph it. So this is the, this is the color. You never wanna go lighter than this for a natural lip for cosplay or for photography. And this is the finished look for a smoky, smudgy kind of cat eye look for, for cosplay, for something that's a sexy character or an evil character or anything that's like kind of vampy. So what we did is we made the eyebrows arched we made the eyes dark and smudgy. We gave it our cat eye and long, thick eyelashes. We did the more sharper blush that already contoured her face. And we did a neutral lip that's as light as you want to go for a normal cosplay look. And there you go. Okay, let's just straight ahead. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, no, no. Kiss my tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even like <laughs> Now we are using pinks. What? Yeah, just describe it a little bit. Okay. As though your audience is done. Okay. Roll. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Did you film that? <laughs> yep. <laughs>